Now, what are we going to do with all those scapes? So in today's video, we're going to show you five different ways you can use your garlic scapes. Scapes are an excellent byproduct, kind of, that comes from a garlic, and uh, there's no point in wasting those. So, first, we're going to start with some bug repellent. So, what we have here is basically a tea that we've allowed to sit for 24 hours with uh, all the ends of our garlic scapes. And this is a great way to use anything that potentially has parts you don't really want to use for human consumption. But we're hoping this is going to help get rid of our cucumber beetles. So the next thing we're going to make with these scapes is powdered garlic scapes. Garlic scape powder. So what we've got so far is in our bowl we've got them cut up to roughly two to three inch kind of pieces. And then we're going to put them into the food processor to chop them up a little bit smaller. And then we're going to lay them onto the dehydrator sheet. Now, you could do this just dehydrating these, but it does take a lot longer. So we chop them up just to make the process go a little bit faster. It also is a little easier on my food processor when it comes time to powdering. So we're gonna get these in the food processor and then I'll bring it back. So basically you don't want this to become a paste. You just want them a little bit chunky so that uh, it saves a big mess in the dehydrator. I'll just use my hand here to just demonstrate. See, it's just sort of so that you can scatter. You could cut these by hand too. Uh, I just find this a whole lot faster. But you want them spread out pretty good so that you don't, uh, um, you, you want lots of airflow around them basically. We're going to keep going with this, fill up the dehydrator, and basically this is going to sit overnight on the dehydrator at about 110, 105. Uh, you don't want this to be too high. Uh, it's a slow kind of cook off, and believe me, it will smell. One thing I will add as well is you only need that little herb sheet on the bottom of your dehydrator if you have multiple stacks. It catches anything that does fall through. But as you can see here, I'm just placing this on the normal rack and what's going to fall through falls through and it often gets caught on the next level. So um, it does work. It's, it's a case that you can do a lot more at a time if you don't have to have those little sheets in every one. So uh, I've got it that way. It's on the bottom and the rest of them do not have that little herb sheet. So here we are 24 hours later. Uh, this went a little longer than it probably should have in the dehydrator. But basically you want it to be, I don't know if you can hear that, it's crispy, it breaks up. So we're going to get these into the food processor and uh, pulse grind them up the best we can. Um, there's probably a better tool for this, but I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, if you have any suggestions, definitely leave it down in the comments below. Uh, I think we've kind of looked into the idea of maybe a coffee grinder, but I will show you at the end the product that we get from this. So there we go. Essentially we've ended up with two kind of different products. Here you can see we have a jar of a fine powder. We ended up with just under a cup of that. And then we have a second jar which is more flaky I guess you could say. If you've ever had the freeze-dried chives, very very similar to that. Real tangy in flavor and a little bit chewy work uh, perfect in stir fries, things like that, where you just want to throw something in, it's going to get cooked up a little bit and right in there. Uh, where this here uh, is such a nice fine powder, perfect for mashed potatoes, not that the others wouldn't work for mashed potatoes, uh, but also uh, in our tomato juice we like to put the garlic powder in, so uh, little things like that. But anyways, just one more use for scapes. So in our quest to use these 18 pounds of garlic scapes, next thing we're going to be making is garlic butter. It's a great way to use these up and you can store it in the freezer and take it out in little cups as you need it. So what you're going to need for this project, your food processor, two cups of garlic scape, two cups, that's really hard to say, two cups of garlic scapes, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and I'm using a full pound of butter. Now. I'm using salted butter, so I'm not going to add any salt to this, but if you were using unsalted, you probably would want to add a little bit of salt to it because garlic bread is a little bit better with salt in it. And then you're going to need some sort of little cups that you can uh, transfer this into to go back into the freezer. So, without any further ado, we're going to 
put our scapes in, start them processing and chopping up, then you add the butter and just keep working it. With this recipe, I ended up with nine of these little half cup containers. So uh, you can see I've left a little bit of space around them um, for uh, expansion in the freezer and the lids sit high. So we've got lots of room. These are great little cups. I got them at Dollarama if you happen to be in Canada. And for our fourth use for these garlic scapes, we are making garlic scape pesto. Packaging this up. If you're interested in this recipe, we will link the video above or in the description um, so that you can check it out. But another great use for garlic scapes. So you've now seen four different ways to use scapes, but right here on our oven, you're seeing three of them so far. Uh, we've got our garlic scape butter, garlic scape pesto, and our powdered garlic scapes with the, uh, oh, we were just talking about this. We we're going to have to get some of those little uh, silicone pack things to, to keep these um, from going hard. But now we're going to show you the final way. Well, it's not the only way, but the fifth way that you can use your garlic scapes. And a fifth way to use your garlic scapes is simply fried. Garlic scapes are delicious fried up. We're having them tonight with some lamb sausage patties. Yum. Give them a couple minutes, flip them over a couple more minutes. You want them to just kind of turn that brownishy uh, color. Um, you know, really depends how much you want them done, but they're basically kind of like asparagus sticks. And there we are. That's about what you want them to look like. Just nice little fried off. Uh, fried them in butter, or we actually use the uh, oil from our lamb sausages. So, when all else fails and you've run out of uses for those scapes and you still have a bunch left, have no fear because scapes freeze amazingly. And it's so simple. All you do, chop them up to the size you want, lay them on a cookie sheet and let them freeze before you put them in a bag so they're all not stuck together. And then you can just take out what you need when you need it. So we're gonna come back, probably make some more pesto a little bit later. And uh, who knows what else? I'm not sure how fast we're gonna get through that garlic butter or any of that sort of thing. Only thing you wouldn't really be able to do with this is the dried out uh, powder. Um, I don't think that would work from a frozen scape, but we're gonna get these in the freezer and that's a wrap. Oops, <laughs> and that's a wrap. And on a total side note, as we're wrapping up this video and I've just put in our scapes to the freeze in the freezer, another thing that we did, all the little odds and ends that we cut off that got woody or, you know, the, the flower part that I talked about that we used in the bug repellent, we froze them so that this summer when those bugs become a problem, we have a couple bags of these as a backup so that we can make that stuff all over again. And we've actually mixed in some onion skins because that's another thing that can go into your bug repellent to help keep them pests away.